guys, my name is Esmina and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a flip through slash tour of my newest completed sketchbook. I am so excited to have finally finished this. It took me a very long time. It is very big and I'm very excited to just show you guys what's in it. Now, if you've seen my first sketchbook tour of this sketchbook that I'll link, 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 up here and down in the description if you're interested. This was my first completed sketchbook. It's not the first one I started, but it's the first one I ever finished. And I think I treated this more like a, I would say like an art book than an actual sketchbook. And that was one of my goals. This sketchbook was to treat it more like it, what it actually is, and that is a sketchbook. You know, a place to express yourself and have fun and stick things in and journal and scrapbook and obviously also sketch and paint. But I think I had a lot more fun with this one than I did with this one. I put too much pressure on myself with this one. So, with that being said, I hope you guys are curious to see what's inside this. Let's go ahead and flip through the sketchbook. Okay, so yay, here we are. This is my second completed sketchbook. So let's just go through a couple of facts about the sketchbook, just if you're interested. This is a Canon XL mixed media sketchbook. It's seven inches by 10 inches uh, and has 98 pounds, 98 pound paper or 160 gram uh, GSM paper. And obviously, as you can see, it is spiral bound. This is a very cheap <laughs> sketchbook for what you get. You get 60 sheets, so it's like 120 pages, right? And it's it's a big sketchbook. You can find this pretty cheap on Amazon. I'll link it down below in case you're interested. But yeah, as usual, I have a lot of stickers on it. Um, I don't think I need to explain <laughs> some of these stickers, but I just want to show you in case you're curious. So yeah, let's just jump straight into the flip through. I'm going to try not to talk so much this time. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, I started the sketchbook in January of 2019 and I finished it in December. However, I only did this page right here in January and then the next time I started working on the sketchbook was actually after I finished the first sketchbook that I told you guys about last time, which is... Uh, this one, this one right here. I have a video of this. I'll link it up here in the card symbol if you're curious. But this I finished, well, we can just see quickly. Um, this I finished in May of 2019. And so that's really when I started working in this sketchbook and only worked in the sketchbook for the, that duration. But I mean, I did start the first page in here and just realized I forgot to say that this is Just want to write that down, just so I remember sort of the order of how I finished things. But yeah, um, let's just go through. I have a couple of things here, a um, couple of loose sheets here. These two are actually made into like Christmas cards for my husband. Um, so these are actually usually just on the fridge. But um, I did make these sort of around the time I worked on the sketchbook. So I just wanted to show you real quick because I really like them. This is like a wintry scene. And then this one is my favorite. It's a little fox in snow. And then I have two more here. This is another fox that I really like. And then this is from, I made a little illustration from the book, The Serpent King. Um, as you can see here, it's just a silly, silly illustration, but I really like this one. And then this, as you can see, I kind of started sketching the stuff that I made into this. So that was sort of the initial sketch and then I read it here and same with the other things. And then I just, just some cute little animals. You know, you can pause it and read for yourself if you, if you want to, but I'm just gonna, you know, do a quicker flip through. So as I mentioned in the intro, I really wanted to focus this time around on just having fun with the sketchbook and not not putting too much pressure on myself to make every page something amazing and just to have fun and do whatever I feel like uh, because this is a hobby for me and it's just something I really enjoy spending my evenings on and I definitely think I put a bit too much pressure on myself with that first one. So this one I just kind of wanted to just have fun and experiment and of course, you know, grow uh, and, and learn new things and new materials but all in all it is fun. I really like it. This one with Jin Sugar and J-Hope. I think this one's really, really cool. These I just doodled during a D&D &D session. Just doodled a lot of stuff. Uh, 
the wolf in the moonlight. This I tried sort of that acrylic paint uh, thing where I poured a lot of acrylics and then I took like a, a card and just dragged it on and it made some cool some cool looking patterns. Um, yes. <laughs> I don't know, I tried to make like mini sort of paintings and then I think I just gave up and just did that. I really like this page. This I, I started using references from a, a nature book. So I bought like a, a book of sort of animals and birds and things like that and I tried to just, you know, pick a random bird or random animal from that book and just paint it and draw it. So this was one of the first pages I did with that. And I really like this, lol burbs. This I went out, I know, shocking. Uh, I went outside in a park one day and I just sort of, you know, just sketched some some leaves and I picked up a leaf and some some more leaves and a little, little cute house. <laughs> I really like this page, I think it's funny. This paper, um, it's not really the best for watercolors. It's more resistant than others because it is mixed media paper but you know it, it doesn't really give like the most beautiful effects when you put a lot of water and stuff into it but you know it's just a sketchbook. It's just for fun. This is a more scrapbooky sort of page that I really liked doing in the sketchbook. I really like this style found this really cool pencil that I really like to to draw with. I'll just put it here. Cretacolor, narrow, extra soft. And I have the one and I also have the two, which I think the two is even softer. So I drew these animals um, with this. It's more like a charcoal pencil, I guess. And then I blocked out some color in the background. And I really like the way this looks. And I just like added some facts, I think. But I really like the way this looks. Uh, and I continued on here. I put this sheet because it it's charcoal, so it um sort of smudges. So I just tried to protect the pages, but I really really love these sort of pages. And this one, I really like this one. I actually made it into a sticker. Hold on, I bought a printer this year as well, and I just played around with like sticker sheet paper, and so I put I scanned some of the drawings that I made, and I I made this one into a sticker. I think it's cute. Yeah. I think it's really cute. Mm, here as well, some more animals in that charcoal style. Some mushrooms. Mm, this is just a flyer that I picked up when I went to the medieval festival in Horsens here in Denmark. There's an awesome medieval festival every every summer, um, and I just stuck the program in here. This is kind of, you know, sort of scrapbooking slash journaling to just remember stuff that I've done and I think it's really nice to also do that sort of stuff in your sketchbook every now and again. This is a picture of my cat, <laughs> Nami. <laughs> I think these are mostly swatches. Fly high x1. <laughs> This is also sort of a journaling slash scrapbook page. I also doodled a lot of this stuff during a D&D session. This is just a receipt from when we went to have a really delicious sushi around that time. So I just stuck it in there. Some cats, very evil cat. I don't know why, but that's just how it is sometimes. I know that is spelled wrong. It was on purpose. Oh, and here, October, Inktober was about to start. If you don't know what Inktober is, it's basically like a, a monthly challenge that happens every October where you have a, an official prompt and, you know, you try to, to draw something around that prompt every day. It usually is in ink, but it, you know, you can make it your own. And you will see that I attempted Inktober this year, but I only managed exactly half of it. <laughs> These were the sort of prompts and then again, I had some some animals here, but so this is was the start of Inktober and you can see some of the stuff I did. I had a lot of fun, but 
I just kind of, I don't know, I think I burnt out halfway through um, and I stopped doing it, but I really like this little bear. I, I think it, this one's really cute. This needed more contrast. This I'm not, I don't like this at all. <laughs> These two are okay. I like this one. This looks cool. Pyro! But yeah, this is where I gave up. So I kind of skipped day 13 and then I made uh, day 14. But <laughs> as you can see, I never painted it in and then I made a scrapbook here. So I gave up on October, but that's okay. I gave it a try. This is when I bought Pokemon Shield and I had some stickers and some stuff and some other stuff. Anxiety, ha ha ha. I tried to make some landscapes and gouache. I really like these two. I think these are pretty, pretty nice. Just some quick sort of gouache studies. I swatched some colors and some more landscapes. Some random stuff. Another page I did during a D&D session. Tried to do some, I don't know, classic studies. Didn't turn out that great, but oh well. I like this page, it's very colorful. This is just a list of a lot of songs I really like, and it's pretty much 100% K pop. Yep. Stating just facts here by Hyx1. Some more sort of flower studies, tulips. Big painting of a tulip here, and this I made some abstract uh, gouache painting here, but I piled on the gouache so it cracked. <laughs> Don't do that. This was a fun exercise of making sort of blobs of paint and then making them into faces. I like this because this is a failed painting that I cut in half and then I, I had this idea to write down everything that is wrong about this painting <laughs> um, and what I can learn from it because it really didn't work. I think it was also the paper and just the brushes that I chose and just nothing about it worked. <laughs> it was awful. Um, I wanted to throw it away but then I thought, you know what, I could actually learn from this. So I just decided to do a spread of that. And then a spread of winter inspired Scenes just in different sort of background colors. I really like this tree. I, thought, I really like the way this turned out. And here I just tried to practice sort of different methods of showing clouds in, in watercolor. But I really like this tree. Daughter Pokemon of the new Pokemon Sword and Shield. I chose this one and I kind of regret it because it evolved into something really weird. <laughs> but we'll see. And uh, yeah, this is the last page of the sketchbook. The end? Question mark. Because this is just a, a drawing ideas that I took from my last sketchbook and copied it and printed it out again just so I have something to flip through when I'm... I don't know what to, what to draw and then this is just a bunch of swatches and... You know, what do I have here? I made this little pocket at the back. I printed this out. This is from BTS World, the game. Just thought this was funny. And... Oh, this is my Dungeons & Dragons sheet. Uh, I moved on from having it on paper to putting it into an online profile, but if you're interested, <laughs> I just kept this here because I use the sketchbook a lot during mm, our Dungeons & Dragons session because we play online, so... I could just doodle uh, while playing. So yeah, I mean, that is it. <laughs> that is um, this sketchbook. It was actually quite, I mean, it's quite thick. I don't know. It opens up like that if I don't... I don't think there's anything particularly amazing that I've done in the sketchbook, but because of the way I used it, because of my mentality behind it, I've had so much fun, so much more fun, I think, working in the sketchbook versus my old one. And I think you know, this is what a sketchbook should be. It should just be a place to express yourself and to write and draw and paint and experiment and, and not get bogged down in, in details and, you know, trying to make 
everything perfect. Like, there's a lot of silly stuff, there's a lot of, you know, just random things, but at the end of the day, like, I, I look back at this and I, I have a lot of fond memories of the time that I, that I made that page or that I stuck that thing on. I don't know, it was a lot of fun working in the sketchbook. And there is some stuff in here that I really like like this tree. <laughs> but mostly it's just, you know, it was just a lot of fun. That was it for this sketchbook. I'm currently working in my third sketchbook. That is actually the first sketchbook I ever started. I just sort of gave up on it and, and worked more in the other ones, but I will finish it and then of course I will show you guys uh, what's inside and yeah, I'll keep doing these sketchbook tours because I have so much fun working in these sketchbooks and it's just a nice way to sort of, I don't know, celebrate me finishing that sketchbook to, to actually show you guys a flip through of what's inside and I really hope you guys enjoy it too, you know, it's just a, it's just a bit of fun but uh, yeah, it might be inspirational for some of you guys to start uh, your own sketchbook in practice. I would really recommend that it's it's a lot of fun and a lot of, very relaxing. So yeah, that's it for me today guys. Hope you have a great day and uh, please subscribe and like this video um, and yeah, I'll see you next time in a new video. Bye!